Now in the next step we're going to create a very simple adaptive component that we're going to place here on these um, the vertices of, uh, of the rectangle in order to create uh, an icosahedron and let's just start whoops let's start with a new family uh, new family and select metric generic model adaptive as a template and we're going to need four points um, and that is because we're going to use this family as a placeholder and um, the next family we're going to create actually needs four points we could of course make a triangle with three points but uh, next family will actually need four points and we want to be able to interchange these and you can only exchange uh, or swap um, adaptive components um, if they have the same number of points so we just need this point as a placeholder um, now that we've made the points adaptive uh, we can connect them if you have uh, 3d snapping chain and make surface from closed loops active uh, this is going to be over very soon Okay, so here's the surface that we need, and uh, we, uh, I said we needed this point as a placeholder, we also need one parameter as a placeholder, so let's just create that and add a parameter here, it's a length parameter, it should be called sphere radius, and uh, let's make it an instance parameter. Okay, so now that we've got this, uh, we can save this family under an appropriate name. Uh, let's just call this triangle component. And well, now we can load it into our rig and start placing it. And um, what we need to do is we need to place the three points at the vertices and uh, point number four uh, needs to be placed uh, in the center. Now we're going to do this until we have placed 20 of these. And it makes sense to always place them in the in the same order. So um, in this case, uh, the points have been numbered uh, clockwise. So uh, it makes sense to place them uh, in a clockwise order as well. Okay, so after placing 20 of these um, elements, we now have an icosahedron that um, actually looks quite perfect. And um, 
with that done, we can move on to the next step, which would be to create a, a component that actually performs the geodesic projection onto the uh, onto this portion of the sphere. But that's for the next video.